guys this is the editorial of 12th of feb 2020 which i i missed of uh, last day yesterday so that's why i am um, making editorial videos today so okay let's begin what he is saying this is written by satish desh pande and what he is saying so let's see the other delhi is distance yet the delhi elections have only underlined the vast gulf between the national power center and the regional states weighing both the symbolic space that hold the reign of the power over the national nation state and the geographical place that hosted million of everyday life delhi's political split local election in delhi are neither simply provincial nor state forwardly national the sufi sant nizamuddin oliya's famous word hujum delhi dur rast delhi is a distance yet applied to the city itself though they co exist in the same city the different avatar of delhi can be quite far from each other the election to the delhi state assembly have underlined the never before the vast gulf between the national power centers and the regional state A study in contrast the bharatiya janata party contested the delhi election as though it was an extension of 2019 lok sabha campaign the aam aadmi party fought the election as though it was the municipal matter such as water and electricity and nothing else the indian national congress tended that it was not pretending to fight the election this contrasting style of the campaign point to the larger challenge facing not just our policy but the very idea of india today what they are for looking at the reason why this is so a quite look at the result aap won the 62 of 70 assembly seat with the bjp beginning eight while the uh, indian national congress experienced an even more apathetic white was then in 2015 but do these results support the swift and sure conclusion that are already being drawn by the pundits has achieving a second landslide win truly vindicated that our strategies of presenting itself as a non ideological management consultancy and refuse to engage with the burning political issue of the day does a second successive defeat in its lok sabha stronghold where it won all seven seat in the past two general election mean that bjp's politics of the hate has finally failed and does a repeat route in the state that it ruled for 15 year imply that indian national congress must now be issued a political death certificate though the detail will be come clear only later it does look like the immediate answer to each of these question must be qualified no even before the result were declared it was clear that this was an election where the manner in which bjp conducted his campaign was more important almost than the outcome it is hard to come up with another state election where elect electioneering has been so full of shrill hate filled aggression designated to incite violence in fact the bjp tried its hardest to make the selection into an anti minority bandeta centered on the protest at sahinwag its formidable media resources were deployed to paint all opposition to the citizens amendment act 2019 or ca 2019 and the national register of citizens as the anti national terrorist inspired and based on the paid protesters the public language of the political was made to plumb new depth as senior leader repeatedly said and did thing that violated every norm of basic decencies the even eventual outcome of this contest 
seems to pale into the insignificance in the face of new norm of political engagement that were weighing and forced but the defeat of the BJP in Delhi does not necessarily mean that these tactics have backfired or even that they have failed it only mean that they did not succeed in this place at this time the big bonus for BJP is that the strongest opponent did not oppose these tactics in fact AAP often seems as if it was playing different kind of dog visual politics that was saying in effect don't worry we have problem with communal politics but please don't ask us to say it openly now that it has won big this policy of non-engagement is being presented as an attitude strategies but it is short term election gain need to be compared to its medium term political cost the BJP has been so successful in redrawing a term of political discourse that not only AAP but most other political parties have been forced to take a few steps in the same direction of police their mesotorian credentials regional versus national the con consequences of his display play it electorally safe strategies were visible in the impasse of the political spread between the regional and national level a party with local root strong enough to sweep to assembly election could not even get to second place in the parliamentary election AAP placed third in the Lok Sabha poll behind the Indian National Congress on the other hand despite having lost several state elections the BJP continued to have an iron grip on the national policy and enjoy an unchallenged monopoly over the agenda setting at this level in the past our few sephologist pundit note wisely at this emerging split in our electoral system and told us that it shows that the shrewdness of the Indian voter who was pursuing different priorities at the two level. Today when all our institutions are being undermined and pervasive climate of immunity of biogotry it is being established this interpretation seems not just unhelpful but dangerous in the complacency. The irony is that the last two months have witnessed the emergence of the remarkable political effervescence effervescence that defy, defies all the usual framework of definition. It can't be called a moment for that word suggests something coordinated and planned, nor are the objective classifiable, classifiable in the usual term, having crystallized around opposition to CA and NRC, this new energy and socially rooted resolve is visible not only in named places such as Sahin Vag but also in the numerous unfamous locations in campus, neighborhood, town and cities across India. This amazing political effervescence is raising question about the politics with a capital be remaining us to bedrock of citizens it is shared sovereignty that we all inherit from the founding movement of our republic because it has successfully mobilized this hitherto untouched yet priceless political capital this movement demand engagement in terms of more serious than those allow the pragmatic self-preserving electorates congress of option this remarkable movement is also one which ought to encourage the Indian National Congress to take more risks since it is now the party with little left to lose its tail perhaps without present precedent in a modern world history. A party which could effortlessly command 25% vote sales in the world's largest electorate is now on the verge of political irrelevance. If it is able to draw energy
from this movement of remark itself it make reclaim its right for place in our policy if they were they want to remain irrelevant in india to tomorrow all the non bjp party have to remind themselves that politics has to be about more than winning the next election however important that may be an immediate goal for formulas that win election may not ensure long term relevance after the fascist can also make train run on time and provide regular supply of water and power so as we celebrate the well deserved victory of our we must remind ourselves that other delhi is still far away so this is the whole editorial of today's 12 of feb 2020 i hope you enjoy thank you